welcome to the python tutorial today i'm going to show you how to use mysql with python so before getting started we have to install some packages or we can say some software to use mysql with python so here we have some software so the first one is a mysql server community the second one is a mysql workbench and the third one is a mysql python connector so the third one which is mysql python connector is used to connect your python program with mysql database so let's move to the installation process so here i just open a chrome browser and in search bar you can type mysql.com slash downloads after that just scroll down and goes to the last one which is mysql community edition just click on community so here we have some software which is mysql community server mysql cluster so first we have to download mysql community server just click on that so here we have a mysql community server just scroll down and now you can select your operating system because i have a mac operating system so just click on download button which is the first one so here i just click on download So here you can see we have to log in or sign up for download this software but we have another link which is no thanks just start my download so just click on there so here you can see the download process is so here you can see the download process is running so it will take some time so i just skip this video so here you can see the download process is completed and now here we have a mysql community server so now let's move to the second download which is mysql workbench so just go back to your download page which is mysql community downloads after that just scroll down so here we have a mysql workbench just click on that so here we have download mysql workbench now just click on your download button which is here after that just click on no thanks just download my workbench so here you can see the download process is started so it will take some time the download process is completed so here we can see my sql workbench which is in form of dot dmg so now let's move to the last installation which is my sql python connector so just go to the download page again click on community edition after that click on mysql connectors so here we have so many connectors which is connector odbc connector net and connector j so connector j is used for java after that we have a connector slash node.js which is new after that we have a connector slash python just click on connector slash python so here we have a download page for connector slash python so just scroll down select your operating system so here i just use platform independent and after that i just click on download button which is download here after that just click on just start my downloads so here you can see the process is starting so it will take some time to download the mysql which is python connector so here you can see the process is completed so now just go to the desktop so here we can see the mysql connector is downloaded on desktop and now let's start installing this software just click on mysql community server just click on continue after that again continue agree after the install after that just put your system password my sql is installed and just copy the root password here 
command C just click OK just click close so now let's go to the second one which is the MySQL workbench just drag on application It will take some time to install. So here, just click on application. So here we have a MySQL workbench. Just click on that. Click open. We just see. Welcome to MySQL Workbench, which means that our MySQL Workbench is installed successfully. Just minimize that and goes to the last one, which is MySQL Connector of Python. Just click on zip file. After that, we have a main file, which is here and click on this folder and click on new terminal at folder. And after that, just click Python 3. If you are using Python 3, then just write Python 3. And after that write setup.py after that write install so here you can see the mysql connector is installed successfully in our system just close this terminal so here that's all about the installation process